they don't call it a crush for no reason. Whether you were captivated by them at first glance, or your feelings slowly grew out over time, we've all been there. Sometimes, it hurts too much to like them. Maybe they're in a relationship with someone else, or they just aren't into you. So, how are you able to move on from someone you like? Here are 10 effective tips to stop liking your crush. 1. Stop romanticizing them. Once you see them for their flaws, the rose-tinted glasses come off. All it often takes is one bad day for the reality switch to turn on. Ask yourself, how likely are you to feel love towards them then? 2. Reduce your interactions. Physical distance is key, and I know that might seem impossible if you share classes together or work in the same environment, but when there's a will, there's a way. Don't talk to them unless it's absolutely necessary. If it makes you feel better, you can also block them from social media and delete their phone number. Psychologists recommend cutting all connections, especially if your crush was toxic. 3. Vent to your family or friends. Don't let your negative emotions fester up inside you. Instead, let it out. Confide in a close loved one and tell them that you're hurting. Another perspective always helps, which can help you work through your feelings. Know that it's okay to break. It's only until you do so that you can start to mend. 4. Self-reflect on the lessons. When you're ready to approach your feelings with a clear mind, think about what you can take from this experience. Journaling and blogging are excellent ways to self-reflect. Ask yourself how you can recognize the dangers of infatuation and why you wouldn't be right for each other. Remember, just because you don't have all the answers right away doesn't mean you never will. Give it time. 5. Find closure if you can. Dr. Mariana Bokorova says that closure can help people reconstruct their lives in a healthy and productive fashion. If possible, seek it, but be prepared to hear some things you don't want to hear. There's a difference between finding closure and receiving ideal answers. Once you reach a final conclusion, then you'll no longer have to worry about the what-ifs. You'll start to feel more at peace with yourself, which paves a new beginning. 6. Pick up new hobbies. Keeping busy is a great way to prevent your mind from stewing in the heartache. Whether that means starting a new job or learning a new skill, self-improvement can make you feel better. It's a great way to build confidence and you'll fall in love with your life again. 7. Don't focus on your flaws. It's easy to blame yourself after a rejection. I'm not attractive, funny, or smart enough are phrases you might tell yourself. But self-pity is the root of a thousand problems your mind will create, and none of them will make the situation better. Make a list of what you like about yourself, and repeat them like mantras every day you wake up and look at yourself in the mirror. It's important to recognize that this was a misconnection. Someone out there who is right for you exists. 8. Explore dating apps. Yes, there are plenty of fish in the sea. I know it might not seem like it right now, but there's a world of people. Dating apps are changing the way we can meet new romantic interests. We no longer have to limit ourselves to social circles, bars, or the grocery store. Make yourself a profile, proceed with caution, and start a conversation with someone. Just be mindful and don't treat anyone as a rebound. 9. Practice gratitude. The worst thing about having a crush on someone is obsessing over them. This can cause us to neglect the present and what we already have. Maybe you landed your dream job, but you stopped being happy about it because your crush doesn't return your feelings. Or you couldn't enjoy your vacation because all you did was think about them. Focus on your favorite people and what you've accomplished. 10. Embrace the future. We welcome new experiences and opportunities into your life. Keep an open mind and recognize that your journey is just starting. Allow your painful memories to help you grow, not sink. The world awaits you. What's the longest crush you've had? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out Sugar Cub's channel. She shares her own personal story about unrequited love and has a knack for animations. Thank you as always for watching.